Hello everybody, here I'm talking about the new movie, Parasite. Now Parasite is the first international movie to win Best Picture. It's also the second movie to win the Palme d'Or and Best Picture. The first one being Marty, I believe. Now this movie is about a poor family who kind of starts working for a rich family. The movie's called Parasite because there's kind of, I don't know, there's kind of like a relationship thing going on. And the families are frauds, they're like kind of scamming them. So they're not really good people to say. They're not terrible. They're just scamming them to let them work for them. Like, the girl puts her panties in the car of the driver, so the rich family fired the driver and hired the girl's dad as their new driver. And then they make the fit look like the housekeeper has tuberculosis, so they hire the, girl, the mom for the housekeeper, and all this stuff happens. And there's that's about it. I mean, my favorite movie last year was Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I believe that's your one best picture, but this is a great choice, too. I think Academy really shows it mostly because it was a foreign film and foreign films have their own category but none of them have their one best picture and they thought about due time a foreign film won best picture but unfortunately that means Once Upon a Time in Hollywood did not win best picture. Although it did win two Oscars, it won for uh, Best Supporting Actor for Brad Pitt which I was well deserved and Best Production Design also well deserved. So, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood did not go empty handed and had two Oscars so that's good. Uh, what did go empty handed was Avengers Endgame. Yeah, that went empty handed. I think it's the only highest grossing movie of all time that has no Oscars. Like, Titanic has a bunch. Avatar is like three, I think. But yeah. Uh, I mean, the movie's pretty simple. I mean, the plot's simple, but there's a lot of moving parts to it. So it's interesting. The characters are great, the acting's great, the direction. I really think that Tarantino was a better directed dread director than Bon Jo this year. I really love the direction in Once Upon a Time Hollywood. The way he recreated the 70s, 1969 Hollywood, all the old movies, was very creative. And this movie is very tense. And it's weird because it's not, it's, I thought it was going to be a horror movie by the poster and the title, but really it's more of a suspense thriller, especially a, a part where the family's about to get found out that they're, they're scamming the, the rich family. I won't say what happens, but there's like an entire scene where they have to like sneak out of the house and not get caught, and it's really well done. Other than that, the movie's very calm and it's very standardly shot. Not an ugly looking movie, just not very visceral. That's why Hollywood was like shot like crazy. There's scenes that were in different aspect ratios, there's like different camera movements. There's a fucking pan dolly thing from Rick Dalton's pool into the Plantics house. Nothing like that in this movie, but nothing that makes it look terrible. Uh, Bon Shahu wrote the script and directed the movie, produced it as well. So when he won his best picture Oscar, he got the Oscar as well as the other producers. He got the Best Screenplay Oscar and Best Director, so he won three Oscars. Technically four, but from my here, the Best Foreign Movie, which is what he won his fourth Oscar for, actually goes to the country, not the director. Which probably means he only won three Oscars that night. Which, I don't know if that ties in with Disney for most Oscars in one night. Because Disney really swept the shorts category, that's what happened. But yeah. This whole movie was just crazy. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, that's all I have to say.